Hey everybody. This is Crypto Trader at Mine and Trades. It is Saturday, January 13th, 2018. And this is a coin call out. This coin, I've been following these this company, I would say this coin company. I don't I'm not sure what to call this one. Uh Coben Hood, okay. They have a uh I've been actively watching this develop. They finally stepped out of the beta stage and now they actually have the, the actual trading taking place. This is the uh Telegram group right here. Okay. And I just want you to know there's about seven thousand four hundred and something members. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm just, I was looking at the wrong number. <laughs> okay, so basically what's happening is they have uh, updated January 14th. Okay. Uh, withdrawal issues are being fixed at the moment. I actually sent some ether over here last night before I made this video. And um, it took about since last night till now. Which last night I sent it at like what I say about 5 p.m. They sent me this email saying you successfully funded your account. I was wondering what happened because it doesn't take either that long to confirm. Okay, so they actually you know they got everything. It didn't. I sent it from my Coinbase account, which basically um, they didn't charge me. This is the amount I sent right here. They didn't charge me anything to send this from Coinbase, which I'm kind of like really pleased to see that, because <laughs> I thought it was going they were going to charge me 0.01, um, 0.01 ether is uh, about fourteen dollars right now. Last night that would have been twelve dollars. Ether is rising right now, so I got Coben right now slash ether. So Coben is going down in value. Because because ether's going up in value right now, um, ether's one thousand four hundred, and um, now I just want to do a real quick run through of what this is as fast as possible. This is Coben Hood. Okay, here's their cobs. They have their their dollar right now. The total the total coin supply is a one billion. The market cap is a half a billion. This great upside potential. Um, I don't see it falling any further than a dollar. If it does fall, I mean, is this thing could turn into an eight dollar, twenty dollar? I mean, if 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 you think about it, um. Binance, I think it's like at what? What's what's their token at right now? BNB. I don't know what it's at right now. You look at it like this. If Binance is doing two billion, look at their cop. Look at look, 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 total supply. I don't know if that means that's the maximum supply or what that means, but it's only two hundred. KuCoin has their Two shares. They're like at two hundred, and they're like at seventeen. Okay, I don't know if this is. I don't know. I have to do the. Let me do the math. Let me pause. I'm sorry, but not the math. But let me let me go find out the actual coin, the maximum coin supply. Very hard information to find out. Let's see if our little. Our new little uh, what everybody's touting as better than coin market cap, which I doubt that it actually is better. Um, this is coin live coin watch. I know that I've been using it, so I know that it's not that much better. I mean, they might have. I don't know how to explain it. It looks good. It looks good. Um, but if I want to get that coin information, like for that coin, um, let's see. Now type that in. What comes up? Who shares? Coin share. All right, look. Max supply. All right, that looks like that's the max supply. Who coin? 
B and B. The max supply is a uh, hundred. B and B max supplies. Now I don't know if these are max supplies. Now this is what it's saying that if this says it, this is the max supply. It must be the max supply. But we still gotta verify that information because if they end up shooting more tokens out after everybody thinks that's the value of it, you know, it's kind of like inflationary. We don't want it to be inflationary. I mean, we can just do what we're doing with normal assets and normal currencies if we want that. Um, U.S. government prints out more money than they than than, than we have all the time. Um, BNB. I didn't realize that these coins had these actual coins that have businesses behind them. These are like securities, which is important. So I mean, they actually like you know look like real stocks. These types of coins right here. Because they actually have businesses behind them that, that are making money, other than just the coin itself making money, which is important—an important distinction to make in these times of days right now. Um, I gotta get to the analysis of the coin and the coin facts and figures, and then what do I get? That looks like a very low coin count. That is great to own. These are some great coins to own. All of these coins, Coben Hood, um, Binance, Q Coins. I'm gonna put this up here, and we're gonna find out all the exchanges that actually have their coin. I think Tidex has a coin right now that's pretty cheap. Let me see if I can pull that information up too. You don't want to sleep on anything that are like I, I, I acting like uh, acting. You don't want to sleep on anything that acts like a a, a, a security. Ties network. Mm. Sign in. Market depth. Why choose Tidex fees? User friendly fixed protocol coming soon. Oh, I can't wait to see that. That's gonna make it really great. Where is the we have our own coin? That's what I'm looking for. I thought I, I saw them with their own coin. Hmm. I'll pause it from here. Yeah, it looks like they got a loyalty program where they reward you with TDX tokens. Which Based, you know, they're they're basically the tokens are created on the Wave platform, which I don't think anyone's taking serious right now. So I wouldn't even worry about Tidex tokens. Um, we need something that's I believe that's mineable. I don't know if I don't even know that much about Waves, but I don't think anyone takes them serious. The tokens that are on there, I don't know if anyone's taking them takes them seriously. So I don't know if that's if I'm wrong about that, then uh, yeah, then I might be wrong. So look, you guys might want to do your own diligence on that. Um, as far as Binance Coin, yeah, these these coins are like really one, two, three, two billion dollar market caps right now. Could they go up? Um, could they go down? Is the question. Uh, it's a centralized, you know, just for trading. I mean, I guess if you want to back their business, I would get it. Um. If you think they have upside potential, I would get it. Um, Q shares and Binance. But um, I like this. I back their business right here. I back this zero trading fee. I think they're going to take a bunch of the market away from Binance and Q coins and um, Coinbase and Hit BTC and um, Bitstamp. I think everybody's coming over here trade the real traders are, I mean they're gonna experiment with this zero fees is never I mean I've seen I've heard a lot about zero fees from the Wall Street side of things and the reason why they say they don't enact zero fees is because the trading bots out there they can and it just gives you the ability to buy and sell to yourself basically endlessly 
And I'm not sure if these guys should be aware of that. I don't know if they allow that. I don't really understand the, how they're going to avoid that, but it's still beta. So a lot of people have lofty ideas and they, you know, they forget to check their history. Okay. So they have an app. I downloaded the app. I, I have an account here. Um, let me tell you some of the, some of the, uh, run-ins I've had with this place, um, before I ended out here. First and foremost, okay, I sent some some Ethereum here. Notice that they didn't charge me anything to send this Ethereum. Okay. Okay, there's a couple of things I want to bring to the channel. I have on record. Okay, first off, we got Coleman Hood and then we got Cyber Miles, okay? Um we gotta know what these two things are. Coleman Hood is the exchange, and Cyber Miles is a technology that I I, I know that uh, I don't know that much about it. Um, um, so we're gonna try to figure that out right here. And right now, let's look at. They share some things in common. The total supply is one billion, and the total supply for Coven Hood is one billion. We got Coven Hood, and we got Cyber Miles. Okay, Cyber Miles is on Binance right now, trading. It's also on Coven Hood trading. Coven Hood, Cobbs, Cyber Miles is CMTs. Coven Hoods are. Uh, pretty much only on Coven Hood. Now, I'm trying to figure out which one has more dough on it, and it looks like, right now, it looks like the uh, Coven Hood has more dough on it. Now, I'm going to go into the social side of these channels right here, and um, check out what we can find. Alright, now, the day has come. Check out which new tokens we had just added to our platform a few hours ago, January 12th. Come trade with zero trading free fees now. Okay, Ethereum blockchain cryptocurrency trading. The ultimate goal of our KYC process, know your customer process, is to make your digital assets and private information secure, which is our top priority. Okay. Knowledge is power. This is what I'll be doing while I'm away from the field, learning about crypto and how to trade. All right, so I guess they just added Dragon Chain, Navcoin. Where is Litecoin? I, I I'll go check it out. Last night they didn't have Litecoin on there. Last night I have to go check it out. So. Now let's go look at CyberMouse. Open source and decentralization community pioneer Mark Fleury joins the CyberMouse team. Read about his journey. Okay. Tim McClellan, our most recent addition, shares his thoughts on Ethereum's Casper POS. All right. Looks like they're adding some of the best engineers, okay, to their team of developers. Now we know anything that has developers flock into it and they're buying developers or whatever securing developers you should know has a future all right that's what you have to realize to it one of the indicators I use um now I'm trying to wrap my mind around this this is just as difficult for me to understand as it is someone who's not even in I'm in trip crypto and I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around cyber miles okay <laughs> Let's go to the website. <sighs> online marketplaces, decentralization of more online marketplaces. Token distribution is complete and CMT is listed. It's listed six exchanges so far. Five Miles is the name of the company. 
has already launched the initial CMT enabled features with more to come for private contributions we will be releasing tokens after the third month lockup expires March 5th blah 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 boom how many tokens have so one two three seven hundred billion CMT seven hundred million one oh I'm sorry this last number is not a number all right that's a decimal that's a fraction all right so seven hundred million okay that's great I was about to say see I told you uh, they're on Binance great okay channel Fox 4 that is crazy uh, these guys they're doing some, some damage all right from one to a hundred platform advantages five miles comprises of team members with ex extensive experience from leading internet companies e-commerce platforms and financial service companies with five different countries Lord clear commercial applications I think they're doing customer to customer um, buying and purchasing doing things like escrow would normally do 10 questions to understand cyber miles you guys want to hear this what is a what is cyber miles and why should I care right cyber miles is a new blockchain protocol being developed for the sole purpose of revolutionizing how commerce and marketplaces work imagine a world in which customers can buy and sell products amongst themselves with the same confidence and certainty as they would from Amazon or Walmart or if individuals could create their own marketplaces and manage them communities in a truly democratic way I can't imagine that and now imagine if you could help shape technology by being part of the network that is the whole that is the world that cyber miles is creating Is Cyber Miles just an application based on a blockchain technology? No, Cyber Miles is a new blockchain protocol being developed and optimized for businesses and marketplace applications. CM is being developed as a FAT protocol consisting of a blockchain based virtual machine and defined modules of middle layer software stacks operating outside the chain to support decentralization side chains they're talking about side chain everything this thing is talking about doing e actually is based off of e ethereum it's a it's a fork of ethereum I'm gonna let you guys know that too. I know I knew that already um what can cyber miles do over time CM can be used for many different types of commercial applications including turnkey solutions for building customer to customer trade trading platforms Structuring alternative payment and financial solutions for e-commerce, enabling local businesses to run targeted real-time promotions. All these ride-sharing programs, these are all examples of real-world problems that we are aiming to solve. Not half solved, but aiming to solve. But our first step is utilizing blockchain technology to revolutionize online marketplaces. Now this is complicated. Here are the developers. Um, I don't know if they're overcomplicating things. Um, why would people want to sell to other people? I mean, what is really? I'm a company. I create. I I build Apple phones. Okay, from manufacturing them to promoting them to making the software on them all right I'm Apple and I need to sell to people so uh, people with iPhones that sell for iPhone their iPhone to another person that might not be the smartest thing to do I don't want to buy my treasure from someone else okay you already know what happened to the guy that got his treasure off eBay okay this is a souped up eBay I don't believe in this program will I invest in it no Okay, I'm out of there. Cyber Miles, kiss my Amy. Could you make money with Cyber Miles? Maybe if you got long term thinking. No, I don't think so. That's my opinion. Will I miss out the boat if I? Yes, I will miss out the, on the boat if they end up being like 
the best eBay around, okay? I don't want to buy things in the future from other people. I want to buy things from the actual manufacturer. Now, if people become manufacturers themselves, now that might be a day I can consider doing that, but that definitely requires a pyramid, hierarchical, not a decentralized approach, okay? Now, that being said, I do like trading with other people okay like trading uh, securities the actual company the value of the company whether the company is worth money or not uh, the security that's great I like this Coben hood now this is a security all right I'm we, we're looking at securities right now um, and I also want you guys to remember that uh, this is cyber miles and it is a security as well let's go into um, let's go into some of the coins that are favorite real quick coin of Nate man it's making me dough right now um, let's see two coins first first coin we need to think about the security of Binance coin alright and Q coin okay keep those on your radar these are securities right now but they are securities of the actual exchanges. That's like saying if Coinbase had a coin, okay? Think about that. Coinbase isn't listed on the stock exchange because it's a private company. What these comp coins have actually done is listed themselves, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord. Where are we headed? The future is fucking great. I'm telling you. This is what's happening. All right, Q coins. All right, what do they do? They've listed themselves on the all right. What what about uh, uh Bitfinex? I've been I've been kind of like down in Bitfinex, but I don't know. Don't they got a coin? I don't know. Gotta do some research on that. Somebody know? Hit me up, man. Put it in the comments on this video. Um, I'm gonna have to go. I'm looking at corn market cap just grow right under my uh, right in my face. It's 750 billion right now. That's great. Yesterday it was hovering around 700, so 50 billion just entered the market. What are they buying? They're buying Bitcoin to buy other coins. I can tell you that right now. But Is it time to sell all your alts for Bitcoin? That's the question. Sorry, I gotta get the phone. Oh yeah, and uh, my uh, HTML coin call out. I'm already like what, like, uh, like about eighty bucks up already. So yeah, I'll be holding that for a while. Let me get on to the to the thing we're talking about here now. Coben Hood, all right. It provides spot trading and margin trading with zero trading fees to maximize traders' profit and market liquidity. Coben also provides ICO underwriting services to solve the problem of ICO token liquidity issues so they're looking to bring a lot of ICO tokens right over to their platform okay they're already snatching up to like ICO tokens like by uh, that's what it looks like so I, I guess that's their mission now we know what what to do with Coben hood it's it's an exchange we can trade on it I'm more interested in that side of things that's why I've already bought myself some cobs and we can go into the exchange now before I end this video now where are my cobs I purchased like 95 of them here they are right here after jumping through well, some small hoops as you can see um, go ahead get you in the, get yourself an account here um, I'm not sure if they actually do referrals um, but um, as far as that goes I'm probably just gonna list uh, this without a referral I don't think there is a referral system in place for this thing. There's some tutorials. There's some contact us information. A 
America, we seem like we're always excluded. Was I excluded from this one? Mm. I was excluded from trading on the um, the beta, which I'm kind of glad I was. I mean, to tell you the truth. Need a catalog. I think that these values are screwed up for some reason. They're kind of little. They got little bugs. They're working out. Okay, but um, for the most part. I got actually the exact amount that I actually own worth of the uh, these Coven ethers right here. So I got a uh, let me see 95. Let's do a calculation, a quick calculation, real quick. Uh, 95.29 cobs times what's the value of a cob right now? I could have waited. I could have got it for a thousand. I wish I would have waited now. Anyways, zero zero. Sometimes you can't wait. You never know what what the market's gonna do. I'm a, I plan on holding these for a very long time. I got them for uh, two cent more than I pay. They're, they're they're two cent less than what I pay for right now. So let's just times ninety five by what I pay for a dollar thirty. I think I paid a dollar. What did I pay? Ninety four. All right, I paid a dollar thirty three. All right, that's what I paid. All right, let's see. Times dollar point thirty three. Equals hundred twenty six dollars. Damn. Okay, so I used the hundred and fifteen dollars and I got a hundred twenty six dollars worth. All right. So tell me, did I really lose out? No, I did not. No, I did not. Remember, these are ethers right now. So I just showed you what I sent over. So I mean, at the time, that's how much I used. I traded some Litecoin. I actually traded some Litecoin for it, and then this is how much Ether I sent, $115 worth. Right now, let's see, what, is Ether worth more than that right now or something? What's going on? Ether must be going up in value. Um, might be better for me to just to hold Ether. Sometimes that does happen. I mean, it's a tricky market. Yep, $127. I could have just held my... I made like what an extra what 15 bucks well I did I bought this much I bought this much in uh, cops I'm not I'm only gonna sell it I'm not gonna sell it for less than what I bought it for so I'll just the only reason why cops are going down in value is because ethers going up in value so to me those are good signs you got to realize that's what's happening okay now and this is a cop for our ether okay now I'm gonna still if I trade my cops for what what it's worth right now, what ether is. Let's see, what is it worth right now? A cob is eight nine six. Dollar twenty seven. Times ninety five point twenty nine. I actually got I make a profit of like about five bucks right now. Okay, and that's odd, right? If I sell them for the same amount of ether, I mean for the ether less than ether than I paid for them, I make more money. That's crazy, right? A lot of people like look at trading, they looking at it the wrong way. You got to do these calculations yourself, okay? And um, as far as that goes, um, I'm going to end it out. I showed you guys what you can do. Send your ether here. Uh, go to funds right here. Click that. You'll get your uh, you'll get your Ethereum account if you want to send Ethereum. I don't think they got any Litecoin yet. I don't know. 
Here you go, Cyber Miles. You want to buy some of those? Click that. Get your Cyber Miles account. It's an Ethereum thing looking majigger. Uh, I don't see any Dragon Coins on here, so I don't know. Maybe those those are up next to, to appear. Um, ETC. All right. So maybe those are up next. So anyway, I'm getting out of here and. Uh, my account is not worth this oh yeah let me touch on this before I go 30 minutes is up though but one more thing I want to touch up on I sent these guys uh, email and um, This is pretty much what I sent them right here. I told them, I said, look, man, what's going on with this? My real value is this. It was not 127. It was 122 last or this morning when I sent them this email. I said, why is this always lower than, than this? And, and you know what happened? This is like when I when I actually bought my cobs, I got not this value of cobs, but I got this value of cobs. Okay. So this is must be some sort of bug in their system somewhere. I mean, it's calculating this must be difficult for them right now since they're handling whatever it is they're handling. So I'm just giving them some time. I still believe in this. We all have problems. I believe in this. I believe in this. Okay. That's it. That's all. Okay. And I hope you guys uh, have a profitable year with me okay take care that's me